Have you ever had to clean up a bunch of supplier or company names for reporting? If you're like the rest of us, the supplier names will be spelled in a number of different ways and it can take hours to clean them up and get them into a small group. There's, there'll be issues like this. There'll be spelling mistakes, there'll be extra spaces in the words, there'll be full stops after letters, there'll be uh, upper and lower case, there'll be the same name but concatenated together, uh, there'll be trailing information such as things like trading as, there'll be alternative uses of and and ampersand, and there'll be the inclusion of different divisions within inside the organisation, and also the inclusion of things like PTY, LTD or variations of it. Well, the team at Acquire Procurement Services have created a nifty little tool to speed up this process. And to be frank, it only takes a matter of seconds. So all you do is grab the information, just cut and paste out of, out of Excel or wherever you have it, go to the supplier name cleaning tool on our website and drop the inf paste the information into the input. And all you do is press clean. So as you can see, it cleans up all those different variations. And you do is cut and paste that back into Excel drop it in and you're done and then it allows you to run a pivot table or whatever and automatically you get the get the results it's that simple and if you want to see the the way it all works and the step dif the different uh, steps through that process what you need to do is scroll down to the page and click on the step results table open that up and what you'll see here is you'll see the actual original text and the different paths it actually goes through. There's pass one and there's three passes that it goes through. It shows you all the different versions that it actually takes. So say you want to do a little bit of fine tuning on those results. Maybe you have special characters within your data you need to remove or other words you uh, wish to remove. You can go to the fine tuning tab. Now in the fine tuning tab, it takes you through the different passes that the data goes through. So the data goes through three different passes and you can choose what to include that as a filter or remove it simply by unchecking it. So the first pass is remove and replace. So it removes words, words you want to remove, words which you wish to replace and just include a comma there. Um, text you want to remove, so anything after T slash A or trading as, it'll remove any text, those words and the text after that. And there's also some characters you wish to remove and also some characters that you wish to replace. Just a note here, if you want to replace something with a space in here, put the character, then a comma, then the word space. The second pass is the trim. So what it does is trims us down to the most common um, word for that company. So for example, company name, um, and if there was different versions where it was company name and then company name Australia, what it will return is just company name. But you can also set the minimum word trim. So say you only want to wish it, you wish to trim it down to two words. So um, say you have Telstra in there and you wish to um, retain Telstra, different variations of Telstra, such as Telstra Corporation, or Telstra Queensland, or Telstra New South Wales, something like that, you can use this to set the minimum number of words that it trims back to. So one being, it'll trim it back to just Telstra. If it was two, it'd be Telstra, say, Queensland, um, and so forth. And then the third pass is actually fixes this spelling errors so this gets a little complicated uh, but the quick version of it is is essentially there's a calculation called the Levenstein distance which works out gives a number back of how far away um, the different words are or the different um, series of words are and for example if they were exactly the same they'd have a distance of zero if there was just uh, one letter um, difference then it have a distance of two so by standard we have it three here so 
What that does is fixes up anything with trailing S's or if there's a spelling mistake where they've got one letter wrong. If they think there's commonly multiple letter wrongs, you can just increase that, um, increase that number. Well, we hope this tool is of use. This tool allows you to clean up thousands and thousands of supplier names within seconds. We've done, as you can, as you can see here, it's only taken less than a second to actually complete all this. When you're computing, um, we did it the other, just today, 8,000 supply names. It took approximately 10 seconds to actually clean them all up. Now this obviously saves you hours and hours of time. Um, if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to let us know.